ideally today, uh, Mr. Uh, Greg Strom wanted to get some footage of sort of me a day in the life of uh, Oz Sanchez, uh, basically some of my training regimen, which uh, which pretty much encompasses um, weightlifting, uh, my, my stationary rowing machine, which I use for cross training, and, and the hand cycle. So get out the, a little bit on the road, do some cycling, do some weightlifting, um, and, uh, and, and uh, some some still interview um, footage of uh, some other questions pertaining to the new project he's got going on. Well, you know, two factors that we look at whenever we're looking at a location, especially for an interview, is what is the ambient light doing? And can we either work with the ambient light or do we need to block the ambient light so that we can create our own? And in this case, the only light source we have are these two windows and it looks like these vertical blinds will be uh, able to block out most of the light. So the ambient light's not going to be that big of a problem. Um, and what was the second question? Which is top secret at this point. And I'm on a, I'm a need to know basis and apparently I don't need to know yet. <laughs> now the other factor that we're looking at is what is the visual aesthetic of the background? I'm always keeping a keen eye out for interesting angles or interesting shapes in the background. We want to try to avoid shooting perpendicular to any surface because that just simply isn't interesting. So in this case, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm ready if you're ready. Okay, ready on the side? Yeah, on my teeth. Pretty white house. Uh, vehicle, I ran a stop sign and basically stopped right in front of me to make an illegal left turn, uh, forcing me to go into a sort of an invasive maneuver that I didn't pull off, went over the embankment and landed on my back on some rocks and uh, basically went unconscious. And um, we, we knew instantly that I had paralyzed myself because of, you know, I was laying on a pile of rocks for one thing and the pain was just excruciating just on my back. Um, so when you don't move, don't touch nothing, just you know, call the ambulance and uh, they showed up and it was all in the story from there forward. While Miho is paralyzed and he's gonna be in a wheelchair from now on and he'll never be independent again and he'll never live a normal life. So basically at this point I was alone and, uh, and that's in one way, that's the way I wanted it, but another way that, uh, that let me go into a pretty dark area that uh, I didn't need to go. I, mean, I could have circumvented some of those steps, but you know, again, you live and you learn, right? I went to school here, graduated from state, um, became an athlete in that same process, and realized that San Diego is, uh, for one thing, a very beautiful, you know, America's finest city. It's, it's, uh, it's not a title that they have for no reason. It's, it's sort of a triathlon mecca of the U.S. as far as I'm concerned. So if you're a triathlete, you know, you need to be outdoors, you need to be close to water, you need to be uh, a lot of cycle-friendly community environment. Um, community so that you have other groups that you can train with and they have that all here in a, in a pretty strong capacity it's close to Mexico and I love going to Mexico close to the mountain this is general good overall central hub for uh, for a very outdoorsy type of person that's a good question I guess uh, I just the first thought that comes to mind as far as resolve is just sort of maybe coming to terms with your situation and and, and, and you know at peace understanding and accepting your situation and then just sort of coming to terms and until you have resolve basically you haven't really say come to terms with it you know and i was i would say i was without resolve for a long time and even then it's a sort of a progressive thing where i'm still attaining resolve if you will or coming to terms with it because i find throughout my life little things that happen here and there that uh that, you know convey to me that i haven't completely come to terms and at peace with uh, with the situation you know obviously i've embraced my disability i've uh, i've grown and I've taken it to you know, and, and, you know, life at its fullest, but there's still issues emotionally with it that, uh, that I would say I probably haven't completely uh, resolved. 